the collection that I, I have, whilst being controversial, is also, in my view, historically educational. And uh, it's not for the faint-hearted. Uh, it's a dark tourist visitor attraction. Uh, well, I've, I've been a private collector for a good 30 years or so, um, going back to the old punk rock area when I used to collect records and clothing. And I've always been interested in history, do a lot of research on history. You meet a lot of people. Doors always open, new doors. Uh, you, you meet one collector, that opens doors to other collectors. Um, people know I'm a, a serious collector. Yeah, well, Charles Salvador or Charles Bronson, there's a lot of people still want to, want to call him. Uh, I've known him for a great many years. Uh, initially introduced him through Reg Cray. Um, contrary to what you know, the news perception is of, of Charlie, he's a, he's, a, he's a really nice fella. Um, you know, Charlie's introduced me to a, a lot of his friends over the years. And from the collection perspective, it's quite important too because the provenance of all the items that are on display here, they come from people like Charles Bronson or friends associates. And obviously I, I don't condone anything that any of these villains have done. Um, this is a private collection, which is, in my view, it's important to get provenance from those that have been involved in, whether it be murders or um, you know, some more, more serious crimes. But it's a very, very unique collection. Um, yeah, well, Reg Craig contacted me initially and um, a number of other, other sort of notorious villains or criminals uh, get in touch with me from different parts of, well, different prisons and again from all over the world we've got serial killers uh, contact the jail. Uh, we've been tracked down globally from a number of infamous people that I suppose want to be immortalised in the jail. The source is where it came from. I don't give a damn what people say, you know, they may question the provenance of this. It's unquestionable. This is the real stuff. And for me, as a, a, a black museum or a dark tourist visitor attraction, it's important to get the real deal on display. These are historical artefacts, um, part of history. The Myra Hindley's clothing, um, I did not pay any money for Myra Hindley's clothing. That came from somebody within the prison that was very close to Myra Hindley. Um, didn't like her, you know, the, the individual didn't like her at all. Myra Hindley gave that clothing to this, this individual. This, this collection is, 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 is all sourced by me personally. Um, my family, you know, they got no interest in this at all. You know, they, they, they lead a different life to I do, to I do myself. They, uh, it's a fantastic family. Um, they obviously support what I do. With this industry, you have to meet the good, the bad, the allegedly evil, and uh, it's, uh, it's an intriguing industry, but uh, one that I would not want my family to be involved in. You can see um, Amy Winehouse's uh, ballet shoes on, on display and, and a hairpiece which she actually threw at a paparazzi on a bad morning. She's, she's on display as, as part of this collection and people have to come and have a look and see what, it, what it's all about.